the I Don't Know More movement, the indigenous movement. This is a continuation of the you know 500 year long uh, indigenous resistance is much bigger than one piece of legislation it's much b bigger than you know prime minister harper much bigger than any one piece of anything it's it's about this continual resistance that we got to a uh, consumeristic non-indigenous non-sustainable way of life we're trying to get our own people's consciousness awakened that's the main primary goal we have to worry about internally fixing our own yard before we start worrying about other people's yards. You know, discipline requires being on message. It requires living according to the principles that we're saying we're living according to, those indigenous principles. It's bigger than one piece of legislation. Half of these people, you know, they, they won't know, and the people that are in the mall, the non-natives, won't know what C45 is, won't know what anything about, but, and that's fine. But it's a bigger thing. It's about, as native people, we're not gonna be idle no more. We're not gonna be silent no more. One person can make a movement, we can make a cause happen. We have the ability to do that, and if the traditional methods, legislation, legal lawsuits, et cetera, et cetera, don't work, well, we can do insurrection. We can do other means. We have that capacity within us. our brothers and sisters, the nations of salmon. And when I come on that console, the whole environment was destroyed. There were dams, there was silt, there was poison, the bay was poisoned, the headwaters were ruined, and we also had a piece of legislation that allowed us to sell our property. And right after that legislation, two of my beautiful young grand aunties were murdered for their land. There was a genocide, a total genocide of the Piala people, just mass murders. We were assigned guardians because we couldn't read, write, or speak English. They gave the land to each other. They kept the money for probate fees. They had the sheriff haul us off our own property. And the Puyallups were homeless on our own reservation. That's what this piece of legislation up in Canada could do to those people. And we had to do armed camps for our fishermen. We had to evict the state out of a hospital building to just be able to assert our rights, establish recognition so that we could defend the salmon. All that just so we could do what Creator put us here to do. And we were able to do a clean up. We were able to reestablish ourselves because it was our turn. It was our turn then back in the 60s. Now it's your turn. Now, now this lady that's fasting 
It's her turn. She's doing what any of us would do. She's doing what we have to do. Um, you need to shout because it's working. You know, it's your turn. It's your turn. It's their turn. It's, you can't be quiet. If you shut up, you know what's going to happen. It's going to get messy, and there's going to be another genocide. So keep it out. Keep shouting. Keep fighting. If all you have is your body, put it there. Your ancestors did. They fought for every right you enjoy. Uh, your freedom of religion, property, the resources. And you know what? Your great, great, great grandchildren will do the same thing. That's why we're here. All my relations. Oh.